Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be migrating from HomeKit to Matter on the Eve door and PlugSocket. First of all it started with me acquiring a HomePod Mini since we need a thread board rotor to do this whole migration process. Getting it unboxed and quickly set up into HomeKit, I could then start with the update process and then finally start with the migration process. Migrating was pretty easy. Basically you need to download the latest version of the EVE app, go through the steps for the compatible devices, it'll ask you to scan in the HomeKit code and follows up with giving you a brand new Matter QR code. Then you'll need to scan in the Matter QR code into the EVE app again, basically the steps tell you to do all of this and it'll copy over the new firmware. Took about 10 minutes but after that you can then use your new QR code and add it to Google Home. And here's the door sensor added into Google Home. Shows up as open right now since I have it at my desk, but installing it back at the door, closing it, took a little bit of a few seconds for it to update, but it shows the actual status. Now, the problems I faced, these weren't actually as bad as I thought it would be. The biggest problem was for me that I needed the HomePod and you need to decide basically which ecosystem you want everything to be working in when you're adding the device. You can add your stuff back into HomeKit, but you'll just need to make sure that your HomePod is your thread border out all the time. If you take that out of the network, it won't be reachable, so just keep that in mind that you need to decide which ecosystem to add it to. I ended up removing mine from HomeKit completely and just using Google Home. And now I just need to wait for Eve to bring out the update for the Android version of the app. I already reached out to them and it's in works right now, but they don't have an estimate when it's going to be released. So we still have to stay tuned for that. But for now, at least I can control my devices from Google Home and no longer need HomeKit for everything. So if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this migration, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try to answer it for you. And if this was helpful, feel free to subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.